Farming is one of Disney Dreamlight Valley's main gameplay features. It's an excellent way to make money and gather resources for recipes. Welcome to Horrible Gaming and on today's video I am going to be sharing with you 10 things I wish I knew sooner about farming in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Number one, dig holes quicker. Preparing a large plot of land is obviously very important with farming. But digging such a large plot of land can not only be very time consuming, but also very boring. So there is a simple way to just speed up this process, and that is by simply just holding down the digging button. If you're early in the game still, I personally recommend using the Glade of Trust for your first major farm plot. You'll need about 200 pieces of clay for a certain quest. Start saving up as soon as possible because that was one of my biggest mistakes on my last game before I restarted. If you need to remove these holes later on, you can take any movable object and just place it over the holes. Save and exit the furniture menu and all the holes will be filled in. Number two, bonus crops. A bonus crop is when you're harvesting a crop and out of nowhere, it starts glowing a bright yellow light. When this happens, you can harvest as many of the crop in that hole for a limited amount of time. So make sure to react quickly. I also recommend having your favorite gardening buddy with you. As they level up, that villager will drop more bonus crops as well for you. To make this process though a lot easier so they just don't get in the way, because trust me, it happens so much, go into furniture decorating mode and then just simply fence them in. It's important to note, if you plan on doing this method, once you unlock pumpkins, it can get quite chaotic. Pumpkins will literally spam everywhere on the biome, making it very difficult to collect. So I recommend doing this in sections. Do not farm all of the pumpkins at once or you will not be able to pick them up in time, which just makes the whole harvesting process a lot longer and more time consuming. This happens mostly because the pumpkins are just a bigger design, so they take up way more space. When farming smaller type of crops, you won't have to worry about sectioning them out like with pumpkins. You can just do all of them at once. Once you've finished harvesting the crop, you can simply remove now your gardening buddy from their enclosure and they will run to the plot of land to drop every single bonus crop. I love this method so much because it makes farming way easier and they won't get in the way. As you can see, now I've received every single extra crop that Minnie would have dropped for me and this is why it's recommended to do pumpkins in sections. Drop pumpkins really do take up a lot of space and the pickup time for these are limited so that's why it's better to do this in sections so you can act fast and get them all picked up. Number three, how to get new crops. Getting new crops in the game is very important because that means you're going to make more money. It's important to note that certain crops will make you more star coins than others but we will discuss this more later in the video. To unlock new crops though, as you get a new biome, simply find Goofy's closed stall and upgrade them by clicking on the Scrooge sign. Each upgrade will add a new crop you can farm. However, it's very important to know that as you unlock each biome, the price to open Goofy's stall continuously increases. This is why in my previous 10 things I wish I knew sooner video, I mentioned saving every star coin and every resource because you are gonna need them so much as you unlock new areas. Number four, the best crops to sell. Now I know we talked about this in my last tip video, but since this video today is strictly farming related, I figured we would talk more about it and just more tips in general. All crops are different when it comes to price, time to grow, and how much they are worth. Obviously, everybody knows pumpkins are the best crops to farm, but they take four hours to grow. My personal favorite crops to sell that grow quicker are onions, which sell at 170 star coins with a grow time of one hour and 15 minutes, and eggplants, which sell for 308 star coins with a grow time of three hours. After I plant my crop of choice, I usually just work on quests or collect resources while I wait for them to grow. But maybe you are someone who can only play late at night and you need to buy items from Scrooge as soon as possible before they're gone. So what's the next best options to grow? My personal suggestions would be the canola, which grows in 35 minutes and sells for 109 star coins. It's the highest crop that sells for a short amount of time along with potatoes, which also grows in 35 minutes and sells for 126 star coins. Hopefully these options help you out while you wait for your pumpkins to grow or maybe you're still early in the game and you're looking to make as much money as possible. Number five, create an orchard. 
As mentioned in my last TIFF video, you can relocate buildings and flatten your map very early in the game. As you unlock new biomes, you will be able to get new fruit trees and fruit bushes, which come in handy for recipes and increasing your energy. As soon as possible, start organizing the trees and bushes to make harvesting easier. I'm currently keeping them in the Glade of Trust so they're out of my way for decorating. I also plan to eventually record a functional but pretty looking orchard in the future, so stay tuned for that video. Number 6. Level up any villager with gardening. Getting every villager to a friendship level of 10 can be quite a tedious task. Now this method is not just limited to gardening, but works in general for any type of resource gathering that gains XP points. Simply ask the villager you need to level up to hang out, and while you plant and water your crops, they will gain XP points. Once you are ready to harvest, just simply swap the villager to your favorite gardening buddy. Number 7. Water multiple crops at once. So this won't take me too long to explain, but did you know you could water 8 plants at once? I did not realize this until yesterday. I always thought it was 7. So obviously after hearing this information, I had to test it out to confirm if we can indeed water 8 at once. And to my surprise, we could water 8, but honestly, I am too lazy to try to get my character to be perfectly aligned every single time I need to water them. So I'm just going to roll with 7, but I thought that was really cool to find out. Number 8. Crops grow quicker in their native biome. Each crop in Disney Dreamlight Valley has a biome they'll grow faster in. I honestly had no idea about this until recently, but I still plan to farm in locations I find convenient or that don't interfere with my decorating. If you farm in the crop's native biome, what perks have you? notice personally with this let me know in the comment section below i don't know about y'all but when i was new to the game i forgot where i purchased seeds constantly so i never knew where they were native or where they came from but something i discovered recently is you can verify if a seed grows well in a certain biome by looking at the crop as you're planting it and there will be a small green arrow next to it and that means the crop will grow well in the biome Number nine, get crops to grow instantly. I don't know about y'all, but I have been loving the new update that we just got on Disney Dreamlight Valley. I just wanna let y'all know if you have not done this quest yet for Scar, this may be a small spoiler, so just skip this if you have not gotten to this part of the game yet. But yesterday I was progressing the quest and I noticed something pretty dang awesome. My pumpkins grew instantly when I watered them and I could not figure out why. So I did some investigating. Basically, we get a recipe called Miracle Growth Elixir, and this causes crops to grow instantly. And this recipe was actually used to upgrade our watering can. Anyways, this recipe can cause any crop in the game to grow instantly, and I am so excited about this because sometimes I can't wait for a crop to grow because I need it for a recipe or a certain quest line that I might be doing. Now, the downside about this is it requires a crud ton of dream light to craft, and I absolutely hate that, but at the same time, if you have a ton of extra dream light that you have no use for right now and you're trying to speed up some crops to craft materials to decorate with, I don't see the harm in using it. I think that this is such a cool feature and I really hope that it stays. Number 10, take advantage of the rainfall. Now I know this is very straightforward. When it rains, that means everything you planted is gonna get watered, but I seriously mean take advantage of this because if you're like me and you're trying to make a crud ton of money so it benefits you in the long run, obviously watering hundreds of pumpkins is dreadful. I do not look forward to it. So if the game decides to water it for me, I would much rather this. So every time you see it raining, stop what you're doing and go plant some crops. You'll thank me later for this, especially if you are a new player. It'll save you so much time. Anyways, I hope all the information in today's video helped you out. If you are a regular player like I am and you have tips for some new players, feel free to leave them in the comments. And before this video ends, I just wanted to say thank you so much for 34k subscribers. That is so insane to me. Thank you again for all the love and support on my little channel. I'm thinking my next Disney Dreamlight video will be finally a speed build. I'm hoping to do a fall festival or my Halloween inspired build, so stay tuned for that. I just haven't had any items to decorate with yet because as many of y'all know, I restarted recently, but I'm pretty confident that my next Disney Dreamlight video will definitely be a speed build. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day.